What's up my bonsai friends? I'm here at IKEA and I needed some things for my house and encountered this uh, ficus benjamina that they are going to throw away and it's just, I'll show you, from 1 euro 50 and I bought uh, the three last one uh, left and it's a little bit, uh, has a lot of dead foliage and I want to talk to you today about how to be creative with uh, bonsai. So today's video is all about using your creativity. I was walking around IKEA and I saw that they were going to throw away these three little ficus benjamina trees. And I thought, oh, maybe we can do something with this. It's a nice species for bonsai and I saw a video where in on YouTube when a Brazilian uh, bonsai uh, Carlos Tramuja maybe you can check it out it's about uh, merging and uh, bonsai do campo about making fusion with ficus and I will try to do that today so what I will use for this is this is uh, some uh, kitchen plastic wrap. I will use that to merge the trunks. And I also have one uh, stone that I might use in the composition. So let's see what we can do first. I'll put this on the side. And of course we need some scissors to cut the branches and uh, scissors for the roots. So first of all, Let's uh, start taking these trees out of these containers and cleaning it up a little. So let's start with that. This container I also bought at IKEA a long time ago. It was only like I think three, three or five euros, but it's very useful when you are doing a report or some work like this. So, and I want to show you that if you are walking around in some garden center or yeah, even an IKEA or whatever, and sometimes you see something for very cheap like this and it's fun to just play around with this because uh, then you can once you get like real good material then you already have some practice with this kind of things so what i want to do is to clean up all these trunks so what you do is you want to clean up all this little twigs because we are going to merge them together so i want to take all of this dead branch just that are growing all down and so that we try to get all these little trunks as clean as possible And if you are looking for something to cultivate inside your house here in the Netherlands or in the northern atmosphere, this is a great species to do so. And you can find this practically everywhere. So we're gonna see how this will turn out. Maybe it will won't work out so but that's the thing sometimes things works out sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't you have practice a little bit how to make a composition and maybe next time it will work out that's the thing with bonsai 
you try to be as careful as possible to not to kill the plant because that's priority number one that the plant survives but sometimes it will happen to it and it happens to everybody and sometimes you just don't know what happens and maybe it's just the end of the life of the plant like a human being it has a beginning and an end what we also could do with this is make a little forest it's also possible Maybe we won't be able to use all of the twigs that we have. So with the chopstick you can take a little bit of the soil off the roots. But first let's clean up all the twigs. Even though we could make a forest with this, my plan is to try to make a compact tree root over rock idea by merging all these trunks together. And later we can shape this tree as we want. There are also some really small twigs in between. I'm taking also those out. What I saw that's important to do is to really make sure that everything touches each other firmly. So therefore I will use this kitchen uh, plastic wrap it very tight around the trunk after we clean everything up what i also saw on the video in brazil they did a complete defoliation of the tree i won't be doing that because the climate here is very different so if I do something like that here in the Netherlands the tree definitely will not survive so I will try to, to keep as much foliage as possible to increase the chances of that the tree will thrive after this transformation So I'm making content in English, but if you prefer to have a video in Portuguese or Dutch, let me know in the comments. I might make a video in Dutch or Portuguese in the future. Or you can ask me questions in either Dutch, Portuguese about what I'm doing. And I'm not a professional i'm just doing this for entertainment and i like to share with you the progress of my trees that's why i'm making this kind of videos and a colleague from my work one of my followers here in the channel he asked me to do this kind of content because he's also starting with bonsai or might start with bonsai and find it very interesting and i thought yeah why not i will make this kind of videos to share and it's very relaxing especially if you live in a big city like i do here in den haag it's very nice to when you finish your work like now i it's now around 8 30 at night Instead of uh, watching TV and losing your time with all kinds of bullshit, it's a lot more relaxing to do something like this. Uh, 
and I hope I will also get a little bit better in telling you what I'm doing and if you want to see the progress also with this tree also follow my Instagram page I will make updates about this tree there as well so I think I finished cleaning the first tree first one out of the tree so second one third one These trees were very neglected at IKEA. I think that's why they were about to throw them out. I think it didn't get watered properly for a long time. So that's why there are a lot of uh, dead twigs in between the branches. I also saw a video on Mirai Life from uh, Ryan Neal, where he do also uh, fusion of three uh, ficus trees, also from uh, similar to not like this, but uh, bigger bigger trees. Not a, another variety of uh, ficus. The, the most common, the microcarpa ficus. If you and that was also one of my inspirations when I was walking around IKEA to do something like this. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Like for. Four euros fifty. I have three uh, trees, which I can probably turn into a very interesting bonsai. At least I think eh, we are in the beginning phase of this big transformation I actually don't know how it will turn out so I clean up all the trees so the idea is to actually merge all three of them together and maybe do some place of some branches but first we we'll have to take all, also all the soil out of this because otherwise it will be impossible to uh, do the work that I plan for this tree. After I take all the soil, I will probably wash the roots so that we can uh, see what, uh, so that we have a better uh, placement of the roots and if you like this kind of content let me know in the comments and follow and like for more I would really appreciate it and also let me know if you think oh I really like to see this kind of uh, activity I might be able to do it in in what and uh, what do I have in my uh, in my terrace, in my garden here? It's important to keep the fine roots wet, and I won't be pruning any roots because, as you can see, the roots are already very fine, and actually, we will need the roots to 
try to place over the stone that we have, that I have. I hope this one has better roots or longer roots because we will need it to place it in our stone. If you have a wooden chopstick, it's actually better than a metal one that I use because a wooden one don't hurt the roots at less than this one but i like to use this one because yeah wooden ones always uh, rot away and then you have to have another one uh, which is more sustainable <laughs> and if you do it carefully it doesn't really matter same time you are also looking if you are seeing like roots that are rotten like this one so you, Eliminate those. So if you have any rot in the trunk, you also try to eliminate those. So you have some nice long roots on this one. So I have to be careful not to damage those because we will need those to place around the rock that we have go out in a garden center see what tree that speaks to you and that you think oh that's a nice species and then you just start making bonsai with it it's not that complicated and you get used to the species get used to and bonsai is not an art form that you learn from the one day to another. You have so many aspects and so many depth. I still see myself as a beginner and, and I'm already interested in doing bonsai for more than 15 years. But uh, yeah. My life always as a hobby and studying aside and uh, now working and everything aside. Uh, so it, just for the relaxation. But I, I am really trying to get my knowledge and my practice to a next level. I really would like to ex show some trees in a show, maybe next year, maybe. Uh, two years from now and see how it goes and I will keep you posted here on my YouTube channel how my bonsai journey continues See that they already made this from a lot of different cuttings into to, in the, the, the root ball already is merged underneath. So it makes also a little bit of a challenge later, I think, to place everything together. We'll see how it turns out. Let me clean this up. It is already almost uh, 10 o'clock in the night so I will leave the trees in, the, in this bucket for tonight and I will continue work tomorrow and I put a few drops of uh, the super drive in the bucket it's uh, like a hormone kind of thing using super drive on my trees and it uh, works very good so I will leave it here for tonight and tomorrow we will continue
So I let the trees soak during the night and now we're gonna see how we can place it in the stone and how we can merge the trunks together. So I think first of all I will try to put the trunks together so therefore I think I need to clean a little bit more. I'll try to cut everything as flush as possible. That once we touch the trunks it will fuse together. So I'm using this concave tool that has a very flat surface so I can really remove all these little twigs, all these uh, little things on the trunk very flat. So I will give you a close up of that to show you how I'm doing this. Do is use the branch. And once all these little trunks start to thicken up and growing they will all become one very thick trunk so you get like a thick trunk just in one go so it's important that we try to make without any gaps at all no gaps between the, the branches between the small trunks get this cool effect. This one looks quite good. Let me show you uh, let me give you a close up of this one because it's already starting to look like we predicted like I predicted. You have to take your time to do these things. It's like a uh, weekend now Saturday morning and I am just had a cup of coffee and now we're gonna enjoy the nice summer weather and practice in bonsai. This one is ready to roll. We might get into the conclusion that we are, will not be able to fuse all three trees together, but we'll see in a moment how it will turn out. This one could be a branch on the side. There's already some nice ramification, as you can see. So while you are doing this, you have to already to think about all the possibilities and you will do the way you like it because it's uh, somebody else might find something else attractive or you might be in a different stage in your uh, yeah bonsai development so to say so you might see some things different and maybe a professional artist would do this totally different but that one thing that I learned so far is that not, it's not really a good and wrong in bonsai everybody has their own microclimate in their house and and in their city so all those aspects you have to take into account I'll have 
have to remove a little bit more of the foliage and some twigs because otherwise I will have no space to see what later on how to place the wire and everything. And again, it's important that we keep as much as foliage as possible because we don't know what will maybe die off or yeah and so that might change in the future the design and how it will turn out to be and if you are in a tropical climate then you might consider foliating the whole tree it makes a lot easier to do this kind of job while I'm doing this, I'm looking also at the roots and the roots that are a little bit in the way. I'm trying to move them around that they don't cross each other. I'm trying to take them, like sep make them separately roots so that they uh, will, uh, turn out better. some of the branches here because otherwise I will not be able to place them together using a piece of wire here to hold this location temporarily that I can take the other one and see how it will fit. So I managed to put the trees together. Let me give you a close up. So here you can see that the trees are all placed together. And the next step will be to use the, the plastic to wrap it very tightly one against each other. But before that, I will clean with the sharp knife all these little edges so that they touch better each other because otherwise it won't fuse together it will take a long time to fuse together all right everything is correctly now I will use this plastic to wrap around the, all the trunks. This is harder than I imagine. And 
as I'm placing the plastic, I am pushing the trucks together. The better they touch, the bigger the chances are that they are going to fuse as soon as possible. And the reason I'm doing with plastic is to not damage the bark and the trunk of the tree because it doesn't have a, it have a very thin, thin outer layer, thin bark. So you don't want marks on it with wire. Or... Another thing that's important, I think, is to have the plastic as low as possible. And that will create also a nice safer to the trunk and I'm using just a regular kitchen wrapper but I think it's better and I will do next time to have some uh, packaging wrapper kind of plastic that it's a little bit uh, thicker than this one however yeah this was available for me now so that's why I'm using these but if you have at your house or if you are wrapping plastic that is a little bit thicker then it's better to use that instead One thing that I learned from Ryan Neal is that uh, if it looks nice, the bigger the chances that it will turn out good. The only thing that I'm concerned about is we will probably not be able to place this on uh, this stone. And I think I'll just uh, plant this in a bonsai pot and I will have the stone for another tree in an, another time because uh, I think the tree has to recover and we don't have very strong roots to place on the stone maybe in a future iteration it will be possible to make a root over rock uh, from this composition but for now I will use a regular bonsai pot so I almost finish with this plastic wrap and then we can go to the next step so I think this looks nice I'll give you a close up you can see it's very, very, very tight. Everything touches one another. So I can remove this wire. I'm clean up a little and then I will get back to it. Alright, next step is to Next step is to pot this tree up. So because we didn't, we weren't able to use the stone. Let's pot this tree up in a nice bonsai pot and see how it looks like. I have here different possibilities. So if you are at home and you don't have uh, some bonsai pots, you can also plant this back into the container because that you bought with because this is still in training so you can place it in the container that you got the tree with and wait a year and find a nice 
spot that will fit the tree. I occasionally uh, have here a few pots that I uh, can have as possibility. And then if you do have at home, then you can search which pot it's correct. Or if you don't have, then you can search in the future which pot fits your tree. And first thing you need to see if the tree will fit in the pot. So this one will fit, but it will be very tight. But this is a nice possibility. This one is a, maybe a little bit too big for it. Show you, but uh, also looks nice. And for the help of the tree, this one is uh, the best one, I think. And this one, it won't fit without cutting some of the roots. But I think this one will not be an option. And I also have this nice pot here with uh, a flower on it. It fits the trunk, but I don't think it fits the stem of the tree. And the last part is this one. And I think this one looks very nice as well. This one, take it away. So let me know in the comments which one you would choose for this tree. I think I will go for either one of these two because they will be more beneficial for the health of the tree at this phase. And I think the thickness is also uh, yeah, quite correct for this tree. So I think it will be either this one or this one. And then next thing you do is to look how you are going to position the tree in the pot and how it will look. I think I will go for this one. And the reason I choose this one is the pot has is, is, it has more or less the same depth, but it looks slightly thinner than this one, the pieces that are underneath the pot. And it has this nice uh, line going around. And once the tree is merged together, we we'll also have a lot of lines in the trunk that would, will complement the tree and will be a very harmonious design. So I will choose this one. Next step is to prepare the pot. So you place this drainage net on top of the drainage holes. And if you have a bonsai container, most of the times it will have these little holes in it. And there is where you place the wire to fixate the tree. So and if you don't have this one, yeah, don't worry, just uh, use the drainage holes that are in the container. And if it's a plastic container, what you also can do is fixate it on the pot. You make a little hole on the top and fixate it, the tree and place it somewhere that's not windy uh, and that the trunk will not move so that the roots have better chance of recovering faster. So I'm placing this aluminum wire here. So now you prepare the pot, placing a little bit of kind of a little mountain in the middle of it, where the tree will be situated, and then of course, it's difficult to see what the front will possibly be, but I will, I think I'll more or less like this will be the front, and then you 
squeeze the tree inside the pot like this. Careful not to damage the roots. And then you fixate the tree inside the pot. I'm gonna take our chopstick and try to very carefully push some of the soil underneath the trunk but uh, the root ball is already very compact so I don't need to do that a lot now the tree is very well fixated And always check if the wire here underneath is against the pot because if it's not, it won't be fixated correctly. You can also give it a little twist underneath. Let me show you how it, it's supposed to look like. You can see it's very close to the pot and I gave it a little twist so that the tree is fixated correctly now let's pull this side and it's also important that it's maybe difficult to see on the camera but the tree has a slightly inclination to the front and uh, that gives a little bit more perspective and uh, kind of that the tree is bowing down to the viewer so let's complete up the here. So I'm doing very gentle with the chopstick, pushing the soil. Now what I will do is to trim a little bit of the excess foliage so that uh, 
inside gets more uh, light. So we're gonna start by uh, giving some space to the branches and trim a little bit of the foliage so that uh, the tree also gets enough oxygen oxygen inside. And we won't be fertilizing this tree yet, so we will let it recover for a few weeks. And then we can uh, do some fertilize, give some fertilizer to uh, improve the growth and the health. I think I might be able to wire some of the branches. of the branches down so that we already uh, start to get a little bit of the shape and wire some of these branches down. You don't want to wire too much, but I'm wiring a little bit so that the interior also doesn't uh, get shaded out. All right. So here we are at the end of this video. We won't, we won't be able to fit the tree on the rock, but I still think it looks quite nice, this end result as a starter tree. So this ficus benjamina still has a long way, but it's already a little shape and I will keep you posted how the trunk will fused together and if the tree didn't work out I will also let you know in another video because it's also I think one thing that I miss in other videos is sometimes it's good also to see the failures and what went wrong in some iteration but I think this tree has a very good chance of thriving and becoming a nice bonsai I set a few branches little bit apart so that we can have more light getting into the inside and most important part is for the coming years now to merge and fuse the trunk to get a thick trunk and I'll, it will probably take at least one year maybe two so we will let this tree recover and uh, don't and keep a little bit in shape for now and see how it will uh, turn out so thanks for watching if you like like this video and follow for more and i see you next time in bonsai den haag